The teasers, rumors and leaks for the upcoming Assassin's Creed releases keep coming and today we're going to share all the recent news about them. In the video we're going to discuss and show some new and recent statements by journalist Jason Schreier on the rumored Assassin's Creed Rift game and we'll also share some new info about the first two games planned for the Assassin's Creed Infinity platform, that is the rumored Project Red set in Japan and another game whose setting could potentially be pretty interesting for fans. We're also going to discuss a recent teaser released by Ubisoft China about a mysterious Animus Next and also what a recent visit to the Ubisoft Montreal studio by Ezio Auditore's voice actor Roger Craig Smith might entail. So let's not wait any longer, let's dive into the most recent Assassin's Creed news. So let's start with the news coming from China. Last week Ubisoft China shared a teaser picture on their account on Weibo which is a very popular social media platform in China and this picture piqued the community's interest. The picture featured the text Animus Next and an Abstergo Industries logo, a logo you don't see frequently these days. Actually looking at the text at the bottom it should be something like Abstergo Industries presents Animus Next with some additional Chinese text that should roughly translate to reward wind the past, improve the present, define the future. So this picture seems to be a teaser for a new Animus device created by Sergo Industries called Animus Next, which kinda mimics the name of the engines of the Assassin's Creed games called Anvil, then Anvil Next and so on, and which always were represented by a logo which was the very same used to represent Absurgo. That's so very meta. Anyway, you might have noticed that the post itself came with a strange code and that's in fact some Morse code that actually translates to coming soon in classic AC fashion. Of course the teaser gathered the attention of the western community as well, wondering whether this could be about the Assassin's Creed Infinity platform or a future game or else, but a similar teaser was never shared on the official Assassin's Creed social accounts which bears the question whether this is a teaser for something only limited to China. What we do know is that a similar post was shared on the Assassin's Creed official Weibo account, this time with three hashtags, which translate to Assassin's Creed, Assassin's Creed 15th Anniversary and Jump into History. So it looks like this could still be a teaser for the Assassin's Creed announcements that might come in September as the celebrations for AC15 are bound to culminate after the weekly celebrations dedicated to the various games, with the Ubisoft Forward event happening right after them on September 10th. So maybe this is just a teaser for the forward stream itself. Otherwise, this could be a teaser for the pretty much announced Assassin's Creed mobile game developed on the Unreal Engine 4 by Chinese juggernaut Tencent that was reported by most gaming media websites at the end of 2020 after a job listing by the Tencent Tianmei T1 studio actually features some Assassin's Creed Brotherhood and Odyssey art along with some more original Assassin style illustrations. So yes, it would make sense for Ubisoft and Tencent to also announce this new game alongside the other reveals concerning the future of the franchise in September, so maybe all of this could actually be oriented towards an announcement of this new mobile game potentially available in China first and whose story might be based on a new Animus machine called Animus Next and said announcement could be coming once again in September. Keeping to the topic of teasers, you might have seen it on social media, last week Roger Craig Smith, the voice actor of Ezio Auditore in Assassin's Creed 2, Brotherhood and Revelations, has shared a picture of himself in front of the Ubisoft Montreal studios. Of course you can imagine this caused a lot of reactions by fans and everyone wondered what this could be about and at this point you should also know that if the voice actor of a protagonist of a past Assassin's Creed game is seen anywhere near anything that might remotely be tied to Ubisoft, then the word crossover is bound to come up in the community discussion and so it had, but in all honesty I don't think that's the case because I'd imagine Ubisoft would have probably not allowed for that. Instead my safest bet is that this might be tied to the AC15 celebration weeks dedicated to Ezio, possibly the one dedicated to Assassin's Creed 2 considering that nothing happened in the week dedicated to Revelations. Or maybe he is going to somehow appear in the Assassin's Creed section of the Ubisoft Forward event on September the 10th as part of the ongoing celebrations for the 15 years of Assassin's Creed. Or it's something else entirely, as usual only time will tell. 
Moving on to Assassin's Creed Rift, the rumor stealth focus game set in 9th century Baghdad and starring Basim ibn Ishaq, we actually got some new commentary by journalist Jason Schreier on its development history. In fact, during a recent episode of the Triple Click podcast that he hosted along Kirk Hamilton and Maddie Myers, and whose link you can find in the description, Schreier shared everything he knew about what happened with Assassin's Creed Rift, including its recent presumed delay to May or June of 2023. Let's have a listen. Okay, so so here's what happened with Assassin's Creed Rift. So um, this is supposed to be, so there's supposed to be this thing, this Basim thing, uh, Basim from Assassin's Creed Valhalla is supposed to get a DLC, right? Um, Ubisoft looks ahead at their calendar. They say, hey, we have a gap in this fiscal year. Let's delay this uh, Basim DLC and turn it into a full game. But also, instead of making it Valhalla style, let's turn it back into like an old, sc- old school Assassin's Creed game where you're like sneaking around and like doing whatever. I don't know the specifics, but sneaking around. I assume. Okay, like- honestly, this all sounds pretty good <laughs> yeah, so yeah that that general great. description sounds pretty cool I'm, I'm into that except you only get like x number of months to do it and you have to do it in the same engine like with all this rpg okay, that's stuff. less cool mm-hmm. sounds mm-hmm. less that's cool, cool. <laughs> that's cool and you have to you have to hit this fiscal year like essentially make a new game mm-hmm. in like half the t- time it would take to make a new game and then when it turns out that you need a delay because you can't actually make it in all that time we're gonna blame working from home <laughs> on those problems <laughs> we're gonna say it's because you're working from right home. a convenient scapegoat Oof. it's good they delayed it at least and that actually does sound good. promising i mean like that the idea of taking assassin's creed back to just being in a city and sneaking around and doing assassinations mm-hmm. is cool with me because i don't need it to become even more of an open world yeah thing. so that yeah. sounds fine all of those specifics notwithstanding yeah yeah and it's made by uh ubisoft bordeaux uh, one of mm. their French offices, um, at least they're leading it, I'm sure. As with all Ubisoft things, yeah. it's being made scattershot all across the, the world. But uh, but yeah, no, it's it's interesting times. I'm looking forward to that game too. And uh, I think that they're going to announce it in September. It's still not announced, believe it or not. They're going to announce mm. it in September and maybe even hint at like Assassin's Creed Infinity and the whole future of Assassin's Creed. So that'll be fun to, to hear about. So yeah, despite its troubled development cycle, Schreier keeps firmly believing that Rift is going to be announced in September. And that's where Ubisoft is going to have its own forward presentation, as we already mentioned, which is likely going to have a focus on Assassin's Creed, what with Rift, Infinity, and the future of the brand. And speaking of Assassin's Creed Infinity, the future online platform that is going to host several different games slash experiences and potentially more, you might remember from our previous videos that a number of rumors were pointing at two main experiences being currently planned for the platform. One set to take place in Japan or Asia, which according to some is called Project Red, and a second one that nobody actually talked about. Now, recently, journalist and leaker Jeff Grubb took to his podcast Game Mess Mornings to discuss Infinity along with guest host Mike Minotti, and of course you can find the link in the description. Grubb started by mentioning journalist Tom Henderson, who on his own on August the 11th confirmed that, to his understanding, Project Red was indeed a portion of Assassin's Creed Infinity set in Japan, and then Grubb added that he himself had not previously mentioned that Project Red was the name of that game, in fact he had just said that an upcoming Assassin's Creed game was going to be set in Japan, but this time instead he did corroborate that Red or Project Red is definitely the internal name for this upcoming Assassin's Creed game set in Japan, making it so that now at least four um, consistent leaker journalists agree on Red being a future Assassin's Creed game set in Japan as part of the Assassin's Creed Infinity platform. Grubb and Minotti also have wondered whether the existence of Ghost of Tsushima might actually lessen the expectations on Project Red, and while discussing that, Grubb stated that according to his sources, in order to differentiate itself from Ghost of Tsushima, which was all about the samurai, Project Red will actually be way more focused on ninjas. In fact, while both samurai and ninjas have been represented a lot in films, novels and pop culture in general, they were widely different figures. Samurai were part of the military nobility and officer caste in Japan from the 12th to the 19th century. They were warriors that belonged to the noble classes of ancient Japanese society. They had high prestige and privileges such as wielding two swords and the right to kill anyone from the lower classes in specific situations. They also cultivated the Bushido codes of martial virtues, indifference to pain and stark loyalty, while the ninja or shinobi were actually covered 
agents and especially mercenaries within feudal Japan. Using Wikipedia's words, the functions of a ninja included reconnaissance, espionage, infiltration, deception, ambush, bodyguarding and their fighting skills in martial arts, including ninjutsu, which was the martial arts strategy and tactics of unconventional warfare, guerrilla warfare and espionage, which was deemed dishonorable and beneath the honor of the samurai. So you can see how such a choice would make sense both gameplay and especially story-wise if Grub's words turned out to be true. Playing as a ninja would naturally match the concept of being an assassin, hiding in plain sight, sneaking, infiltrating, taking out targets and escaping, while also being a mercenary figure which matches the open world RPG nature of the recent AC games which should also be that of Project Red, all the while providing enough difference from Ghost of Tsushima which was more focused on the samurai. Grub continued in his commentary by confirming that according to his sources Rift is going to be the next Assassin's Creed game, supporting Shrier's words from earlier, but then he went back to the Infinity platform, stating that yes, it is going to host Red, the Assassin's Creed game set in Japan, but also a whole other game which, using Grub's words, has a really cool setting that he hasn't talked about yet because he believes it's actually going to be revealed next month, and this setting is not something that people have been asking for, but it's something that might be very cool. So Grub decided not to ruin the surprise, a surprise that apparently is going to be revealed very soon. So once again, it seems that every teaser, every hint, but also most of the leaks are pointing to September the 10th, 2022, where the new Ubisoft Forward presentation is going to be hosted and all the major announcements are finally going to be revealed and that's where we'll finally know how many of these rumors are actually true. But until then, we can only base our expectations on what is out there, especially for what concerns Assassin's Creed Rift and Infinity. And if you'd like to know more about all the recent leaks concerning them, you can check out our dedicated video, which you can see on screen right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in our next video.